Synchronized water drinking. Just so <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> you remember that Verizon ad from 20 years ago? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? All right. Hello, I'm Jay, the gourmet Indian chef, and uh, we are here today to show you how to make a, a simple yet complex dish named gazala. Gazala in Urdu means uh, a female gazelle. Uh, this dish is beautiful. It, it's uh, it's simple, very few ingredients, and it it uh, it's it's one of the favorites of the Nizam of Hyderabad. Well, without further ado, let me introduce you to my life, my wife Hi. Raquel, <laughs> and uh, we're going to introduce you to our our ingredients right now. Starting with uh, a kilo of lamb, which has been lightly marinated in. Uh, ginger garlic paste and a little salt. Uh, here's our red onion uh, puree, blanched, quickly blanched for three or four minutes in boiling water and then pureed. This is our ginger garlic paste. Uh, ginger and garlic equal parts in a blender with uh, some olive oil and some uh, lemon juice and salt. This is our green chili paste. Again, green chilies, Indian green chilies, which are traditionally very, very spicy. Um, but these have been de-seeded and then blanched quickly in, in, in boiling hot water and then blitzed together. And this is turmeric, some turmeric and some toasted uh, ground coriander seeds. And this is our yogurt, which has been uh, slightly beaten to ensure smoothness and that ensure that the sauce doesn't break uh, during, cook, during or after cooking. So now we're gonna make the yogurt mixture. We're gonna put our spices in there. We're gonna put our green chili paste in there about eight tablespoons. The recipe, by the way, is in the, in the link um, below this uh, video. And then we're gonna put our salt, which is roughly about one tablespoon. Of course, you can adjust it to your liking. We're gonna whisk this together. Now what is this? Is this going to become the marinade? Or? This is not the marinade. This is the sauce. That's mm -hmm. the, the, this is the liquid that the lamb is going to be uh, braised in. I see. Um, very, very flavorful. Would you like I a taste? I can smell it. Would you like a taste, my love? Yeah, I just put my finger in it. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Try to use a spoon mm -hmm. next time. <laughs> no, I would recommend washing your hands. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. It's a little spicy. But it will temper down as it cooks, right? right? It's all, all the ingredients are. It's raw all the ingredients right are raw. So uh, we start off by searing some lamb in some hot or in a hot pan with some sunflower oil. Now I see there's like a lot of fat on this lamb. Is that on purpose? I like to leave the fat on because fat is flavor, in my mind, and it just enhances the dish, the the the, the viscosity of the the sauce, the uh, flavor in the sauce. And then we add on the uh, red onion puree, the, the blanched red onion puree. Uh, we add the ginger garlic paste as well, mix it well. And then finally we add the, uh, we add the, uh, the yogurt mixture which has all the spices, the green chilies, the coriander and the turmeric and the salt. And we add it all in here, bring it to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we'll turn the, the heat down to a simmer, cover it and leave it for 90 minutes to cook at its own time. And voila, you'll be done. So, so we just celebrated our 18-year wedding anniversary. 21 years. Well, we've been together. Whatever, for 21. Years. <laughs> it's the same thing. 21, 18. Who's counting? So I don't know if you remember, but when we first got together, I had never been introduced to Indian food before um, until I met Jay. Um, spice was not in my vocabulary whatsoever. And it took me like a number of years to really wrap my brain around Indian cooking technique. It's, it's very different than Western cooking. The technique, the steps, the procedures are just very different. And what I really like about this dish um, is that it's, it's a one-pot dish. Um, we're kind of just, you know, there's some little simple preparation ahead of time that yeah. we had to get ready. But you could, but you could which, use chopped onions, for example. I, don't, I, don't, I like to use pureed onions because it, 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 it takes it up the next distributes, level. It distributes the flavor more evenly. You could use just chopped ginger and garlic as well. 
but I like to use paste because it fla the flavors just are distributed evenly. Right. And the dish is yeah. a presentable dish. It's, but this is very simple. Yeah. Like we just did this yes. in five minutes. Yes. It's got to cook for a while. Yeah. How long does it need to 90 cook? minutes. 90 minutes. But yeah. it's a one pot dish, very simple and easy to prepare. Um, and it's exploding in flavors. I can smell it already. Yeah, it's, cool. it's delicious. So given the simplicity of executing this dish, I'm wondering, can this be done in a slow cooker? Absolutely. It can be done in a slow cooker or Conversely, you could put it in, put this pan covered with some aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 90 minutes, right? You could do it either way. Um, I prefer, in, at the restaurant, I prefer to do it in the oven because it's, you don't have to look at it then. It's, it's right. you know, check after 90 minutes and you're done. Yeah. Uh, but home cooks sometimes do not have an oven that's calibrated so well uh, or temperature wise or yeah. are not comfortable with cooking it, who, right. like, to, who like to see it yeah. as it's cooking. Right. That for them, this is the ideal way to cook. Right. And if you want to like set it and forget it, you can put it in the slow You could put it in the slow cooker or in the oven. Yes. Either way. So the lamb, the fat from the lamb is separating here and it's not to worry. It's, it's, it's just all flavor. Do not be, do not mind that. Now we are ready to taste the meat. Try to taste the gazala, which is the favorite part of my cooking process is tasting. Don't be fooled by the skinny looking figure. I hide a lot of fat underneath. Hmm, hot. And tender. Spicy, but not overkill. Flavorful spicy. Delicious. Enjoy. I'm Jay, the Gourmet Indian Chef, and I got gotcha. you.